Praise the Lord. Tomorrow is the Feast of St. Peter. St. Peter was our first Pope and in honor of our one holy Catholic and apostolic church and uh, as a prayer for unity that Jesus prayed. This was, I want to sing this song. This is Jesus's prayer, word for word from scripture. All I did was change the tense to make it first person because Jesus prayed that they may be one. So I made the words that we may be one. And it's from that self-titled CD, That We May Be One is the name of it. It also has the Come Holy Spirit prayer on it and Anima Christi. This is Jesus's prayer, word for word. May we be one as you, Father, are in Jesus. As you are in Jesus, and Jesus in you. And the glory which you gave to him, he has given to us, that we may be one, just as you are one. He in us, and That we may become perfectly one. That the world may know that you have sent him and have loved us as you have loved him. to Jesus. Be with him where he is to behold his glory which you have given to him in your love for him before the foundation of the world he made known to us your name and he will make your name known so that we may be one just as you are one he As you have loved him, that we may be one, just as you are one, he in us, and you in him, that we may as you have loved him. Amen, 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 right? If Jesus prayed it, 
Wouldn't we want to pray it all the more? I think so. We'll make Jesus's prayer our own. It was a, it was heavy on the heart of Jesus that his followers be one. We are not one people. There's 36,000 different Christian denominations. That is not a light set on a hill, easy for all to see, to follow. Wow, if we can't agree on the faith. It makes it really hard for people to come to Jesus. So let's get to know Jesus better, right? If you were like a, a pyramid, Jesus is at the top and we're coming from all different sides. And as we get closer to Jesus, closer to the center, we get closer to each other. The only way to be one is to know God, to know Jesus, to know his word and internalized as well as have it in our head and to keep it, to keep his commandments. He offers tremendous promises for those who keep his word. So if you know it, keep it, keep it to the full, keep it daily and pray, pray, pray. Keep that conversation with the Lord because you can't love someone you don't know. And when you pray, not don't just go through the laundry list of requests. He wants to hear them all. Yes, he does. And you should tell him often. Remember like the, like the widow and who, who uh, kept um, imploring the unjust judge and he gave in just to make her go away. And God says, how much more would he hear you? <clears throat> So keep at it, yes, keep at it, but also take the time to be still and be quiet, right? Be still and know that I am Lord, scripture says. Be still and listen, hear him. I hope that with these lullabies, these scriptures, this quiet time in the evening, it would help you calm your heart, mind, and soul so that you can be still and listen to the Lord. Because, you know, we don't have to wait to be in heaven, to have heaven, right? Heaven, the kingdom of heaven is here, Jesus says. It's in our hearts, it's now. We can have it now. We don't wanna wait till death to get to know God. We wanna know him here. And we can have heaven all the time. Because he says, I will never leave you. I will not leave you orphans. So he is with us. Psalm 139. It's a little long, so I'll probably cut it a little bit. O oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, Behold, O oh Lord, you know it altogether. You beset me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, let only darkness cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark for you. The night is bright as the day. For darkness is as light with you. I praise you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am wondrously made. Wonderful are your works. You know me right well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately wrought in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them. 
the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. Wow. The days that were formed for me, he knows every one of our days. Even when there were none, he knew them when we were being formed in the womb. He knows everything you're going through right now, everything that is happening to you and will happen to you. He holds all in his hand, your soul and heart especially. Never doubt for a minute that he knows just what's going on and just how to handle it all. And all he wants from us is trust, love, right? This divine mercy image at the bottom of it, it says, Jesus, I trust in you. That's all he wants is our trust. And he takes care of the rest, right? If we die, all is gain, Paul says. What's, to, what's death? We long to be with the Lord, scripture says. But while we are here, what shall we do with our time here on earth? Pray, pray, pray. Praise the Lord. Pray for souls. Offer your life in union with Jesus for the salvation and sanctification of many as a co-redeemer in Christ. I pray this for you. I pray that we not give in to despair or being tired. It is the end of the day. But just to rest and trust the Lord. And it's an adventure. I can't wait to see what tomorrow holds whether hard or easy, it is the Lord's. It doesn't matter. It's whatever he ordained. And I am glad to be the church militant in my church, uh, my shirt, church. What, who started your church? I like that. So anyway, enough talk. Let me know your thoughts. This is hopefully a conversation. May God bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you. May God bless you and keep you, and look on you with kindness, and give you give you his peace. God bless you. Good night.